yes, absolutely. The South has perfected racism to a T. And they've done it by clumping it into two different categories, right? So the first one is the in-your-face racism, the Confederate flags hanging on the back of pickup trucks, the white guys using N-words, the disowning your family members because they have a mixed baby or whatever, right? Like that's the in-your-face stuff that like I witnessed growing up and knew was messed up, right? Like that's the kind of stuff that like we know is racist, we know is messed up, right? The other side is the um, Southern heritage side, the culture side, the Southern bell side, the old money side, right? Which we all know that old money is built on the backs of slaves and it's just white people that benefit from it now, right? But that's the side that they make the decisions in the South. They're the ones who are buying off politicians and getting their own interests pushed into politics, which then leads to further systematic racism. But those are the ones that are going to disguise everything they do as, oh, well, that's just our tradition, baby. Well, they got their own churches. Why would they come to our church? They got their own sorority. Why would they come to ours? As if they weren't forced to start their own organizations when we excluded them from ours. But that's the side of the South where they will try to get you to believe that they're just being nice. That they're being generous. That they're giving people of color their own space to do their own thing or whatever. But that's just not the case. So that's kind of the area of the South that I came from. My parents are not Old South money. My parents came from the North. Um, they don't have any of those ties or anything, but because they do have money now, um, I kind of got lumped into that category. So I participated in a lot of those things. Like when I was 11, I did cotillion where I learned how to be a good host and I learned how to like do a proper place setting if I was gonna be serving a dinner with six courses or whatever. And then when I was like 19, I think, I was a debutante. So I was presented to society as a potential bride. But I wasn't presented with any other women of color. And I definitely wasn't presented as a potential bride to any men of color. But they would never, ever tell you that any of those things are racist, right? They're going to tell you that that's just like how things are done. And racist really looks like that first group, right? Racist really looks like the in-your-face shit. And that's why there's so many people coming out of the South as adults or like in their late teens and 20s that are realizing all this shit's fucked. All of it. Across the board. It's all bad, right? But we were so focused on that, that first chunk that we missed the second one. And that second one is really dangerous, but they know that we're distracted. And that is how the South has perfected racism.